And a company that might be gearing up to go public is a little-known data security firm with a growing roster of big-name clients. It's already getting a lot of attention from investors. Josh Lipton has more. There's always buzz in Silicon Valley about what company could be the next hot IPO, a name that's often mentioned, Palantir. The case is easy to make. Palantir's specialty is crunching massive amounts of data so that organizations can make sense of it. Its clients include the Department of Defense, the Los Angeles Police Department, and big banks such as J.P. Morgan and Morgan Stanley. Palantir has already raised close to $1 billion. Its revenues are estimated to be close to $500 million, and analysts peg its valuation at more than $9 billion. They've made it really easy for enterprises to get their arms around all this information, whether it's structured data in columns and rows or unstructured information, emails, memos, voice, video. And it, it's very simple for a company just to get their arms around their information and put it all together. Palantir has attracted prominent Silicon Valley players such as Peter Thiel, whose stake in the company is said to be worth almost $1 billion, as well as famed investor Stanley Drunkenmiller and the CIA's InQtel Venture Fund. But the rest of us might have to wait before becoming investors. Sources close to the company say that it has no plans to go public anytime soon. Part of the reason Palantir might not be in any rush, business is booming. They have plenty of money, plenty of revenue, and why go through all the scrutiny that comes with a public company? They've got very sensitive projects as well for the government and commercial sectors, and they're not beholden to shareholders, so they have really no need to go public. Palantir says it has doubled in size every year since its founding in 2004. Not many companies can make that claim, and it keeps attracting new, powerful clients, recently inking a deal with the SEC to provide software that can detect insider trading. Gartner's Lighten attributes Palantir's success in part to what she calls its unique corporate culture. She says it's a group of very well-paid, smart employees who work strange hours and are part of, quote, an odd Kool-Aid culture. Josh Lipton, Nightly Business Report, Palo Alto, California.